know I am back in the UK and as soon as I arrived home I realized how many packages were here waiting for me and some of them are makeup so I thought that with this video I would do kind of like a hybrid where I get ready on camera using new products but also is going to continue along the day with a regular vlog for my base I did receive something new this is by Cover FX and it's the Power Play foundation I'm not too big on foundation anymore I usually go for a BB cream and I just do very little because if I have anything that I want to cover I'll just go in with uh, some concealer after. I am really liking how this is blending. It feels very very light. I'm into it. Alright, normally at this point I would set it up with some powder but today I'm gonna use this stick as a blush. It's by Rosie for Orthograph. It comes in two colors, or at least that's what they sent me. It's blending really easily. I do have oily skin, so I usually go for powders. But definitely creams look much more natural. And I like to see some color right under my eyes instead of having just a blush there. So I have it down here, across, and under here. I'm gonna use these two by Hourglass, and I've used them before. I'm almost finishing this one, unfortunately. I always brush through my eyebrows first. I'm really not so precise with my eyebrows. This is just a brow gel with a bit of a tint to it. So I'm gonna use it to pass it through my eyebrows and keep them in place. Tarte sent me these, which I think I may have had in different colors. Basically, they are these spots with the glittery eyeshadow and they look so, so stunning on your eyelids. But before I apply that, I'm gonna do a little round of base from my Winky Lux palette. I'm gonna take the pink color and apply it messily all over my eyelid. I'm also gonna take Pisca and apply it in the inner corner of my eyes just to brighten that area up. And now we take this. Ooh, I thought it was gonna be glittery, but it's more of a metallic shade. Very nice. Tarte also sent me these. The application went super smoothly. No complaints, very fine tip. The only thing I'm not sure about is the pigment in it. It's not as dark as I usually would like it to be. So I think it may take a few strokes to really get that intensity. But other than that, it's looking pretty good. Now for lips, I'm gonna use this as a base, which is the Salt Life by Tarte. I always like to blend the color into my lips with my finger just because it looks much softer. And they sent me these, which is a bunch of lip glosses. And I'm not a huge fan of lip glosses, but for the sake of this video, I feel like I have to give a go to one. Ooh, that is so smooth. I really, really like it. The reason why I got ready is because today there is a food festival going on and I just got tickets so Felix and I are gonna meet there, have lunch, try some foods. It could be interesting to bring you along with me and just do like a half day vlog. Yeah, we'll see. The first one is called Once Upon a Colorful Canvas. I got this because this month I've been trying to put more of an effort into drawing and doodling and painting, so I thought this could give me some ideas. And the other book is called Stone Setting for Contemporary Jewelry Makers. I'm not a jewelry maker, but I have done some jewelry in the past, 
I would love to do more, so I figure this could be good. But also I do have three more book suggestions, they are all light reads. And the first one is The Little Book of Life Hacks. This is the perfect coffee table book, it's just so wonderfully illustrated. And it gives you tips on anything from skincare to fashion to homekeeping and food. The second one is called Evergreen. Felix actually gave this to me and it is about plants, clearly, but I really like how it not only tells you about all the different plants and how to take proper care of them, but also that when you turn each page you get these beautiful photographs of interiors, which I'm all about. The final book is about psychology, so it is a bit more intense than the others, and it's called Ikigai, The Japanese Secret to a Long and Happy Life. As soon as I started reading this, I realized how packed it is with very interesting concepts, and I found myself talking about this book to other people. It gives you some guidance in life, and it shares different points of view, so if you feel like you could use some of that, this book may be for you. It's 8 p.m. We just finished dinner. The sun is about to go down. I can't wait to put on my pajama, wash my face. But that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'm gonna go. I will see you very soon. Bye!